Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Benita, where we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. So today I have a two year review of one of my most used Louis Vuitton purses. You probably already guessed it. It's gonna be the Louis Vuitton Terrain PM. And I wanted to take some time and just do a review. I recently did a review on my um, Graceful MM and I will link it down below or either here in the cards. But you guys love that video. And so I said, well, let's see what else we can um, review. So I thought it would be pertinent to review one, a bag that I've used for a while that I absolutely adore. Um, and so if you like this type of video, please like and subscribe before you leave. And without further ado, we're going to get started. In this dust bag is my Terrain PM, but one, one thing I want to say before we get started is in order to extend the life of your handbags or to make sure there's longevity there, you need to store them properly. And there's tons of videos here on YouTube about how to store your bags. Um, you know, if it's a Chanel bag, if it's a Louis Vuitton, if it has a strap, if it doesn't have a strap, you want to make sure that you are storing your bags properly because again, that adds to the wear and tear of your bag and it could go in either direction, positive or negative. So I'm, I usually am try to be very careful when I store my bags. I use the dust bag that it came in and if it doesn't have a dust bag, I'll try to buy one, get one as my essay, like especially some of the pre-love items that I buy may not have a dust bag, but I definitely try to um, get one from somewhere. Um, I don't use like a lot of people use um, what is it um, pillowcases and things like that. I don't use that because of smells and maybe moisture. I just try to stick with the dust bags that come with it because it's cotton and it's like um, the air can get through and escape. So I just try to use the appropriate dust bags that come with the um, with the bag if at all possible. That again is the Terrain PM. So that's the dust bag. We'll just throw on the floor. <laughs> Inside I have air paper. And just air paper. So the first thing that we want to talk about, I guess we we'll talk about the strap. And well, you know what? Let's back up. Um, I have a small story time about this bag. So let's start there. So this bag came out during the time when, well, I'm not going to say came out. I think it was already out. But for me, I kind of got wind of the bag when the Speedy Bandelier 25 first came on the scene, right? Everybody loved that bag. It was a Speedy. And, you know, I love my Speedy. You see mine back there. <laughs> You know, and I thought, ooh, that would be good, a smaller Speedy, something I can wear crossbody, because I was in the market for something that was a little bit smaller than that, and I could probably, possibly wear crossbody. I don't like shoulder bags too much. I love a strap, but it, I also have to have, you know, handheld. So my husband and I were going on a trip to New York. So I said, when I'm in New York, I'll just visit Louis Vuitton. You know, I'll make, if they have it, I'll make a purchase. Um, I knew that I had this one. So I was going to go with the Damier E. Bean or either the Damier E. Zor. But when I got to the store, tried it on and everything, guess what, guys? It, I didn't like it. Even though I wanted to like it, I it was very popular. Everyone had that bag. Everyone's like, you got to have it, you got to have it. You know, I drunk the Kool-Aid. I wanted it. But it didn't look right on my body type. And that's another key. Just because we are recommending and saying you got to have, you got to get it, you need to try it out. You need to get your hands on the bag to make sure it works for you. Anyway, I digress. Go there, ready to purchase, try it on, but I just couldn't pull the trigger. And I am smart enough to know any kind of money item. I don't care how much it costs. I have to absolutely love it and feel the feels before I can spend my hard-earned money on anything. So I just, I just couldn't do it. Um, I think I ended up getting, like, did I get a scarf? No, I think I didn't get anything. So I was just so disappointed. I don't think I bought anything that day at Louis Vuitton. So I went back to the hotel. I tried to research other bags that was that were comparable to the Speedy Bandelier. And I found one video that the girl was comparing the Terrain PM and the Speedy and the Speedy 25. And it wasn't the Bandelier, it was just the Speedy 25 and the um, Terrain. And so I looked at that video and I, and I saw that the bags were very similar. The only difference which I thought might work for me is that as you see, 
this bag is not as round as a CD. I mean, it has like a rectangular shape, but it's more flat. So when you do it crossbody, it sits more flat on your body. And that was the problem I was having with the um, Speedy B. It was looking like a, just a roll of yarn or something. I don't know, <laughs> just like a barrel, small barrel sitting here on my hip. And I'm tall, I'm curvy. So crossbody really doesn't really work for me, quite honestly, anyway. I make it work. Um... And so I needed a bag to look right. I don't want to look stupid, right? So I needed a bag to look right. So I called Lillian in the Charlotte Louis Vuitton, who is my essay information. I'll link down below. And I told her what I was looking for. She got me one and I came in and no, she she was able to find me one. And then they I just bought it and they sent it here. I didn't go into the store. I sent it here. And I told her that I would try it. And if, you know... It didn't work I would just send it back and just keep looking well it did work and I'll make sure that I'll put in some mod shots because for me it is the size it is really comparable to it's pretty much the same size as the speedy B but it's just how it lays on your body that makes the difference so first thing we're gonna look at is the strap so the strap I don't have any chipping on the um, on the clasps here, come in, no chipping. Um, I see it's a little dark, but I don't see any chipping. A little dark in the inside from actually clipping onto the bag, but um, no chipping. The leather is in really good shape on the strap. When I first got the bag, I did have a little bit of bubbling here on this part. It was a little bit more, we got it it in if you can I don't know if you still can see it it's it was a little bit more than I'd like to see and I called my essay and she replaced the strap so this is the original strap and I have another strap um, a replacement strap because she did not require that I send this one in she let me keep so I have two straps and I usually use the extra strap over on that one but so that's the, that's the beauty of having a good essay. She did not require that I sent it back and I use it on other bags. And that's the good thing. That is a pro about this bag because it does come with a strap you can use on other bags. Um, the actual buckle is fine. No chipping, no like oxidation, like green stuff, nothing there. Um, the stitching on the buckle is 100%. And this is a made in France bag as well. Most of my bags are. I, I didn't plan it that way. All of my bags except for one are made in France. Um, okay, let's talk about the handles. The handles are fine. They look really good. Here, the glazing underneath is perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me on the front and back but if you watch my review not my review but my unboxing or reveal of this bag I talked about how I was convinced that there was some type of clear coating on the handles of this bag and that has proven to be true my essay never admitted it Louis Vuitton at the 1-800 number nobody would ever admit to it but this bag came out during the time when people were, I don't want to say complaining, but having comments about how they really didn't like the Vaquetta and how the Vaquetta, um, over time, of course, we know it patinas, which I absolutely love, but people were saying that they just thought that they, they hated it when it got too dark. You know, it will get dark. You need to clean it to keep it looking you know good not clean with like a bunch of soaps or anything as some people do i just wipe mine off with a white microfiber towel every time i use it to get some of the hand oils off and i found that that has extended the life of my patina and of my vaquetta anyway again digress but this bag did have a clear coating and the clear coating stopped it from patinaing sooner and as you can see, if you look closer, the um, handle here and the chaps here are two different colors. 
you see that the handle is slow is is not as dark as the chaps because it didn't have the the clear coating here and that's the danger with them doing that because it has caused my bag to not evenly patina um, I do what I can I use it I leave it out in a well lit room um, so that it can kind of catch up with each other but it's just not it's not going to be an even patina which I'm disappointed about so there's that but the handles are in really good shape um, the stitching on the handles are fine I do not have one stitching out of place and you can see the wear under here but that's what I'm saying I just take a white cloth and I just wipe it dry cloth and I wipe it and it will dry out and get some of those oils and dirt off so that when you store it you know it won't be it won't get grody okay the zipper is really good let me see I'm just holding it wrong but the zipper is fine a nice smooth zipper my pull tab is good I try not to pull it too much because it's just a, a flimsy piece honestly of a canvas so I don't want to pull it too much um, the little grommets here on the Louis Vuitton sign are good flat are really good and let's go ahead and do another thing about this bag that people I think don't like are, is the pleating. They said that over time, the pleating will like diminish or flatten out. Mine has not. I have this bag for two years and I, and I believe it's because of the way I store it. You have to store it in a way that it keeps the integrity, i.e. the shape of the bag. So my pleating is fine, front and back. Um, I have a little bit of a dent here, so I just probably need to store better there to kind of get that out. And let's see, the corners. The corners are perfect. And the piping. The piping looks good as well. Now these little wings, um, as I call them, the little tabs, some, again, people people just rag on this bag all the time. I think it's people just love the Speedy B, which is a great bag, but this is a good bag too. But people don't like these um, tabs because they say they wing out. And I think if you overstuff the bag or if you wear it cross body a lot, it will. Mine hasn't over the two years. I mean, it's up, but they, they haven't winged out at all. Um, the inside of the bag now. This bag might be a little... Now, I want to say dirty, but dusty um, because I forgot to wipe it out <laughs> the last time. Um, I'm just going to show you. I forgot to wipe it out when I looked in there. I said, ooh, it looks a little dusty. It's not really dirty because I don't, you know, get my bags dirty, but it is dusty. And guys, that stain is out of the bag that looks like a stain. It's not a stain. It's a water. It's like a damp watermark because I was trying to um, <laughs> wipe the bag out before filming and it didn't dry. Now, one con, one thing that has not held up, I would say, in my opinion of this bag, is the color of the, in the, color of the interior. Um, when I first got the bag, it was a beautiful, deep, purpley, raisiny color. And now it's more of an ashy, an ashy purple color and you can see it's not as vibrant and I don't know why um so there has been some fading in the inside after two years the date code so I can give it to you yeah the date code is right here in the inside pocket and it's MB2138. So this bag was made in the, what, the 23rd week of 2018 is when the bag was made. Okay. Pros and cons of the bag. The pros are it is a great crossbody bag, a great handheld bag. Um, it fits a lot. I think I've done a what's in my bag. If not, I will do one maybe on Instagram. But it fits a ton. Um, I can pack this bag really full and not have a problem. Oh, before we move on, let's look at the glazing. Because, you know, we have to do glazing. Bless Louis Vuitton's heart. You know, their glazing situation. So the glazing is great here. The glazing is, I would say, good. Yeah, I don't see any problems there. And the stitching around the top is good, too. 
So again, it's a good crossbody bag. Um, you can wear it crossbody, and it, to me, it fits better on your body and for all body types. You should be fine there. The con, I guess, would be that they did put that um, clear glazing on it, the clear protective coating on the handles. So my bag has not patinaed evenly. And if you find one, you're probably going to get the same problem. And I don't, I can't think of any other cons. I really love this bag. I adore it. I think that it is a great purchase. I think it's underrated. Um, I think that people either love it or hate it. It's not one of the most popular bags. It's not considered a classic in the Louis Vuitton line. And I, but still, I believe that you can get some good mileage out of this bag. And it's not on the website. I, I was looking earlier. I didn't find it on the website, but you can find it on Fashion File. Let me just see real quick. Let's just see. If we can find it and I'll link it down below I, okay I found several on fashion file they range from 1400 to about um, well I, the cheapest one I see is 1150 and the most expensive one I see is 1645 see fashion file I'm gonna do a video on these jokers cuz they, they be trying to get us Fashion Foul, yeah, they are the easiest to shop as far as pre-love, but those pri that pricing is stupid. Um, cause I didn't even pay. I didn't pay that. If I so, if I sold this bag, I could probably get sixteen hundred dollars out of this bag. Hey guys, well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any other questions about my lovely bag, the uh, Louis Vuitton Terrain PM, you can definitely leave them down below. Follow me on Instagram or DM me on Instagram and I will um, respond there. And guys, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Sometimes I get discouraged about am I too old to do YouTube? You know, that type of thing. I'm going to do my best to try to give quality content. And if you have any suggestions or want to see anything from me, definitely leave it below. But I'm going to let you go and we'll talk to you again next time. Bye.